Why are goals, like New Year's resolutions, so hard to keep? I set a lot of goals. So I should be able to keep most of them, right? I told my friends my goals. So now I'm accountable. Okay. I've got clear dates and times on when to work on my goals, so I should make progress on each of them, right? Turns out, all these things may be working against you. It's better to have fewer, more solid goals. Then you have more time to work on them. You don't want to spread yourself too thin. And be careful not to tell too many people what your goals are. Because when you tell people, you get a feeling of accomplishment for the thing that you haven't yet accomplished. And that can make you lazy. There's a TED talk about that in the description below. Besides, friends can sometimes let you down. Setting clear times and dates for your goals is good, but we humans have a way of putting off what will benefit us. In economics, we explain procrastination with a model called quasi-hyperbolic discount. Let's say we have three time periods. The present, which we'll call time period zero, or T0. The future, we'll call it T1 and a more distant future, which we'll call T2. We discount the future using beta and delta. In this example, beta equals 0.6 and delta equals 0.8. Let's say I discount the future with this quasi-hyperbolic formula, which is beta times delta raised by t, where t equals the future time period's number. This means I'll discount the value of something in T2 to 0.384 of its true value, and the value of something in T1 to 0.48 of its true value. Let's see how this might cause you to lose sight of your goals, even though you set clear dates and times to work on them. Say I decide in T0 to eat better in T1 so I can lose weight in T2. I value the benefit of losing weight at $100, and consider the cost of eating better to be $50. Since 50 is less than 100, I would clearly want to eat better and lose weight if the results were immediate. And when I look at their discounted values, it still makes sense to start eating better in T1 so I can lose weight in T2. But when the time comes for me to eat better, I no longer discount the cost and face the full 50, which is now less than the discounted benefit in T1. Eating better, or whatever I need to do right now to reach a future goal, no longer seems worth it so I keep eating cheeseburgers. Now that you know about quasi-hyperbolic discounting, you can find ways to prevent doing it. Please comment below with your ideas, and subscribe if you'd like me to keep making videos. Good luck with your goals.